inheritance for yourself, Sylph. Oh, it's only down to Malcolm that we've been able to spend some of it. He's got us invaluable financial advice, and he's going to invest it wisely for the future. Is he just? It's starting to sound like it's his money. Well, it is, isn't it? As much as it's mine. We've set up a joint bank account. We're getting married on Saturday, Dad. I don't want Malcolm to feel like a kept man. He's got his pride. Yeah, it's not the only thing he's got by the sounds of it. It's called trust die between husband and wife. I imagine it's the same for you and Jim. <laughs> that is fantastic. It comes out, it yeah. it. Mm. Good morning, Mr. Fenner. Little peace offering. Ooh. Very tasteful. It's lucky as I'm a pair of knickers down. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I was only teasing. Well, give me back the pair you've been threatening me with, then. Well, I can't, can I? That's my insurance policy against your nutty wife. You and her have got all the power in here. And this is one way I can look after myself. Of course it is. Jim, I don't want to use it. And I reckon if it stays like this, I won't have to. Because we both know who you'd choose if I was on the outside. Remember, I've got 11 years left. Less if I'm a good girl. No. Eleven years. Can you imagine what Miss Friend is going to look like by then? And you don't even have to wait for me. I'm already here. Well, stop breaking my balls, then, eh? Tell you what might help. My weekend out. I'll see what I can do. But just lay off Di, will you? You're driving her crazy. breakfast dear you won't get better than an empty stomach thank you but i'm not hungry is something bothering you you can tell me aaron whatever it is our lord already knows you just have to ask for his help i can't oh hello sister mr hillis do you want me to postpone your visit this afternoon if you're not feeling up to it? No! Please, Mr Hedges, it's the only thing that's keeping me going. And I'll be fine, I promise. Relax. It's only checking. Now, since it's your first visit, I'll have to take you through the procedure, OK? Thank you. Done! Oh, isn't it beautiful? I can't believe we've done it. It looks that professional and all. I think maybe the Lord did some stitching when we were sleeping. No, it was you girls. All of your kind, clever, wonderful friends. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, Jim, can I knock off an hour early this afternoon? Only I have to go to the solicitors and sign the final papers to transfer my aunt's property into my name. Go on, then. But don't tell anyone else, eh? Thanks, Jim. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're going to have to get used to having a boss that actually looks after his staff, so... Family, is it? No, um, it's just a close friend. But I know it's just what I need to give me a boost. Well, that's what visits are for, and I just hope it puts a smile on your face. Oh, it will, sir, believe me. Bye, Oh, my 
my God. Get off of each other, you bunch of dykes, and please stop singing. You're going to make me feel sick. You ain't got no soul. And you've got no dignity. Look at you all, it's pathetic. And why are you still sucking up to her? I thought at least you'd know better. No, she's all right, Nat. You should give her another chance. I should give her another kicking. But if it bothers you that much, I'll settle for a couple of her things. I want you to get me that cross from around her neck. It's like it's solid silver, if you ask me. What, what a crucifix? Yes, her crucifix. And those um, rosary bead things she's always pissing about with. Get me those as well. No. No way. And you try to steal from me yourself and you'll be sorry. I beg your pardon? Leave her alone, I'm saying. If you're pissed off, you can stick another needle in my eye. It don't matter. She'll only make it better. Because she has got the power of Jesus in her. I need a word. It's important. Uh, just sit there, I'll be right back, OK? Pretty, isn't it? But you didn't know your husband had such good taste. Matching knickers as well, bless him. You what? I don't suppose he bothers buying you expensive underwear, though. You're a more practical type of girl, aren't you? I didn't beg you for being stupid. But at least that explains why you've been so miserable lately. What? It's no fun withdrawing, Aaron. Well, you come out the other end. But you won't get another visit for a very long time. I don't know what you're talking about. Your boyfriend was searched. They found the drugs. <sighs> Sir, it's only medication. You can check, it's legal. That why he was hiding it in his sock, is it? You get your meds from the prison MO, you know that. Come on, you just booked yourself a room on the punishment block. No, sir, I can't. Please. Well, you should have thought about that before he abused my trust. How long do you have to stay here? Until your adjudication, and then it's up to the wing governor. Please, sir, can I just see Sister Thomas? I need to make a confession. I'll see what I can do. What does she actually have to do to make you punish her? That's the whole point, Di. She hasn't done anything. Look, she's trying to provoke us into acting unprofessionally. If you can't take a bit of transparent piss-taking, you're in the wrong job. And so far, piss-taking is all Buxton's guilty of. But she has just... Right, that's it! I've had it! Now, look, I'm talking to you as your wing governor and not your husband. This is starting to look like harassment from your end now. If she breaks the rules, I'll come down on a hard. Until then, I don't want to hear another word. we will fill out a report. Aaron Palmer just rumbled a dealer. Palmer? I oh, know, she doesn't see the type, does she? It's always the quiet ones, eh? I know it's not strictly said rules, but she's asking for Sister Thomas. I'm going to be a bit tied up with this. Could you escort her down the block during association? We're allowed a priest. She almost fits the bill. I know who I'd like to escort down the block. Goodness. <laughs> You're very kind, but I, I do feel rather ashamed of such vanity. Oh, rubbish. It's nothing when we're being pampered every now and then. Especially when you spend so much of your time looking out for everyone else. Yeah. And this one's on us, sister. Don't you even think about pain. I hear you have breast cancer, Julie. Well, yeah. Well, had. I hope. I shall pray to St. Jude for your continuing health. Who's he, then? A healer? He's the patron saint of desperate situations. But despair will be met by love. And St. Jude will bring comfort. 
if she who prays truly asks for forgiveness. <laughs>